It's not unheard of for Korean actors to be labeled as rude by the media, but some cases are actually pretty awful. From Song Jung Ki, Park So Joon to Han So Hee, South Korean reporters had no mercy last year when it came to judging these celebrities. Over 50 film journalists and reporters gathered together to vote for the rudest Korean actors of 2023, and their revelations will most definitely surprise you. Sports Kyung Hung annually holds this poll and asks movie journalists to decide what actor had the worst attitude in the past few months. This time, 50 55 reporters gathered to vote and Hwang Jung-min was voted as one of the rudest Korean actors. 18 out of 55 journalists voted for him as the actor with the worst attitude whom they've ever worked with. The reasoning behind it is not what you may expect though. Hwang Jung-min is 53 years old and he's starred in many successful movies and dramas. He's a well-established actor and you may have seen him in Narco Saints or The Point Men along with Yeon Bin. Although he's busy filming and has a successful acting career, he angered Korean journalists last year as he refused refused to give interviews and attend Korean shows. According to the reporters, this issue has been recurring in the last five years as he kept on refusing to talk to Korean media outlets and instead appeared on various YouTube channels to promote his work. Korean journalists perceived this as a betrayal and they also criticized him for leaving most of the promotional work for his other colleagues instead of taking part in promoting the movies and dramas along with them. Although he didn't specifically do anything wrong to these reporters, they hold a grudge against him due to his lack of cooperation However, the reason for his attitude may be that Jong Min is just trying to protect his privacy and wants to do interviews in a more comfortable setting. That's why he's probably attending interviews on YouTube rather than on TV. Another reason for his reluctance to answer the journalist's questions may be his fear of his words being taken out of context or misinterpreted, which is often done by the reporters. We cannot blame him, and it looks like he doesn't need to do interviews as his acting speaks for himself. Another 14 reporters voted for Jong Tae Won. Although he's not an actor but a director, he still found himself on this list. But the reasoning for this one is even more ridiculous than the previous case. According to the journalists, Taewon hurt them with his words during his promotional activities for his movie, Marrying the Mafia Returns. Whatever the case was, the reporters cited his statements as something that hurt them. Supposedly, Taewon once said during a press conference that the media's negative reviews hurt him so much that it felt like being shot by these reporters. The reporters in question took offense to that and decided to dub him as one of the Korean celebrities with the worst attitude. But to us, it seems like he was just trying to be honest about how he felt. Isn't it natural to be protective of one's own work? Song Jung Ki and Lee Dong Hui received the same amount of votes from the reporters. Both got 12 votes for supposedly having a horrible attitude towards reporters who asked them questions about their romantic lives. If you don't know, Lee Dong Hui is dating the well-known actress Jong Ho Yeon, who had her acting debut in Squid Game and took the world by storm right after. Earlier in February, 2023, he was doing promotions for his movie, Maybe We Broke Up, and the conference got a bit tense after the reporters kept pushing him to answer questions about his personal life and how his relationship with Ho Yan was going. Since his movie was about a romantic relationship, it wasn't that unexpected that he was asked about his real life experiences, but what was a bit out of place was the way these reporters kept nagging him. It got to the point when Dong Hui actually blatantly refused to answer the questions about his romantic life. However, he had a very good reason for doing so. Dong Hui said, I've been asked that question for my previous movie and I had an interview with my senior, but I saw that issue appeared on real-time search at number one and number two. I hope all of my movies can shine no matter what kind of work they are. I hope people won't mention Jong Ho Yeon when I'm talking about my work. I'm asking for your understanding. As you can see, the reason why he refused to answer these questions was that when he did so in the past, the journalist didn't write articles about his work, but about his personal life, which overshadowed the hard work that he and his colleagues put into their movies and dramas. But the journalist didn't take this lightly and considered his attitude rude. The same goes for Song Jung Ki, who was under fire several times last year, but the journalist found the biggest issue with the fact that he reacted, according to them, rudely to their questions about his marriage to Katie Louise Sanders. When he was being bothered continuously by questions about his marriage, he couldn't hold it in anymore and burst out. One journalist in particular really offended him with their articles as they kept on covering every minor detail they found about his wife's private life. 
Song Jung Ki revealed that he even requested his agency to take some action because he was bothered by these articles as they were hurting his family. He supposedly asked whether the journalist was writing a novel about his wife since they kept on making up stories that were completely fabricated. He felt protective of his wife and didn't want her to be scrutinized by the Korean media. However, his wife took it lightly as she told him that there are journalists who do the same in the UK too. It's not the only thing that offended these reporters though. They also had an issue with Jung Ki's response to the questions about about his son. When Jung Ki arrived at the airport, someone asked him whether he decided on a name for his son. Jung Ki responded, why would I tell you? This was deemed as extremely rude in the media and many called Jung Ki as one of the worst mannered celebrities. Although Jung Ki shared that he was just joking and it wasn't meant to be taken seriously, the internet was divided. While some called him a trash guy, others chugged his response to just him protecting his privacy and family. One of the actors who made a surprising appearance on the list was Park So Joon, who was dubbed as un bearable by the journalists. It all stems from his promotions for the movie Concrete Utopia. According to the reporters, So Joon had a poor and unfriendly attitude at the press conference for the movie, and he allegedly wasn't easy to work with. Although So Joon has been criticized several times for his attitude in the past, it was in 2023 that he was embroiled in a pretty trivial controversy that sparked rumors of him being unfriendly. During the conference for Concrete Utopia, his co-star Park Bo Young offered him a headband. To many international viewers, this may May come across as stupid, but wearing headbands and doing various cute poses is part of Korean promotions, and it's often done at fan meetings or press conferences. The thing that caused the most turmoil was that Sojun rejected Bo Young's headband and refused to put it on. You can imagine how wild the internet went when they found out about this because it was all captured on a video. Many jumped into the conclusion that he was rude and acting entitled and at the same time hurting the feelings of his co-star and her fans. The situation got so out of hand that So Joon actually had to step in and speak up about this issue to clear his name. He revealed that he sweats a lot during the conferences and fan meetings and so his hairstylist used a lot of hairspray that day to keep his hair up during his promotions. That's why he didn't want to put the headband on as it would mess up his hair. He had also shared that he thought that the two headbands were a gift from Bo Young's fan and that he didn't want to hurt their feelings by taking it. So Joon ended his statement by labeling the situation as a misunderstanding, which it clearly was, but it appears that the journalist didn't take it lightly and still hold it against him. Surprisingly, So Joon's co-star from Gyeong Song Creature has also been labeled as rude recently. Han So Hee attended the Paris Fashion Week at the beginning of March, and she came under fire for yelling at people in the audience. While reporters were trying to take photos of her, someone was heard causing chaos in the audience, and So Hee ended up screaming at them to keep quiet. People who saw the video didn't take it lightly and started to criticize So Hee for her behavior, going as far as claiming that she was blackout drunk, and some even alleged that she didn't look normal. However, her yelling wasn't the only video that went viral. There were actually more clips from that night that made So Hee a target of accusations of her being rude and on something. During the night, So Hee was acting very animatedly and she sometimes made sudden movements that made her look strange on camera. In one clip, after blowing out candles on the cake, she began to play with them and made odd faces, while in another video she's seen interacting with the DJ, making various expressions which netizens found very out of place. The things got so bad that not only was she being labeled as rude, but some started to allege that she was taking substances, which is simply a horrible thing to say about anyone. What happened that night was that her makeup stylist tried a different look on her, which made her eyes look unusual, and so, no matter what she did, she looked a bit too animated. It seems like the reporters have an issue with any actor who goes against their inhumane ways of covering their private lives and who refuses to comply with their requests.